Another consequence of the government shutdown is reduced cybersecurity staff across federal agencies. The CIA and other likely targets, such as the Defense Department, have fewer eyes on the job right now as far as computer networks are concerned. And as Jim Shudo explains, that means more vulnerabilities. The government may be shut down for you and me, but for cyber attackers, it is open, even more open, for business. Adversaries from foreign governments to terror groups, says the former head of the CIA, are almost certainly looking to take advantage. I would have been anticipating this. And I would have been saying, what is it that we want to do against this adversary, that's against us now, what is it that would be helped by doing it while they're shorthanded? What gives us a higher probability of success? Many government agencies' cyber teams are relying on skeleton crews to police attacks in cyberspace. And a successful attack now could do damage even after full staffs return to work. Tim Erling, a cybersecurity expert who advises agencies across the government, explained how. What may happen as a result of the shutdown is that that, that first incident, which may have been detected previously with a full staff, might be missed allowing a compromise uh, to go deeper into, into an organization to get it more critical assets or critical data. Another risk, while staff that monitor computer networks are still on the job, many staff who maintain them are not, meaning those networks are not being updated to resist new kinds of cyber attacks, which can change by the second. The shutdown comes as cyber attacks are transforming from spying on computer networks to destroying them. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee says it's a serious concern across the intelligence community. It's very concerning to me that we would allow any part of our national security structure knowing what's coming at us every day, not just from cyber. None of that's going away, and you can imagine that our adversaries are trying to fill the hole. We asked a cybersecurity firm advising the government if the number of cyber attacks had increased since the shutdown started, and the answer we got is telling. We're told they simply don't have the staff to count, that right now they're focused on defending against cyber attacks with fewer resources to keep the government's computer system safe.